The mission of the YMCA of the Foothills is to organize, develop, finance, and conduct programs for an association of persons of all ages that will, by putting Christian principles into practice, enrich the quality of their lives spiritually, mentally, physically, and socially. Hi everyone and welcome back to YMCA of the Foothills 2020 Attitude of Gratitude event. You know, the Y has been putting on an annual prayer breakfast since 1989. And due to the current pandemic, we're unable to get together in person this year, yet we still had a dying desire to want to be able to express our gratitude and thanks through prayer and thanksgiving. That's where this year's Attitude of Gratitude event comes into play. We've produced this series of videos that we're running all through the month of November with a different video each week. They'll highlight prayers for our community and national leaders, prayers for our faith leaders and places of worship, prayers for our family and friends, as well as prayers for essential workers and first responders. We're grateful to be able to put this on and we hope you enjoy this series of video vignettes. Now we'd like to be able to introduce Pastor Pete Scott, who's gonna have a prayer for our places of worship and our faith leaders. Greetings everyone. Uh, my name is Pastor Pete Scott and it's so good to be here. Just a quick word about myself. I am the husband of an amazing wife for 33 years, two grown children, and I pastor Chapel of the Hills in Sunland here. And uh, I am a YMCA chaplain and have been for over 10 years. And it's just my privilege to bring this word of encouragement to you today and also to be able to pray for you. I just want to say thanks so much to Audrey for inviting me in YMCA Foothills. And uh, just a little bit just to encourage you that the, the chaplains at the Wise are there for you. So should you just need somebody to talk to going through a time of transition and crisis, don't hesitate. Uh, to talk to a staff member at, the, at one of the wise and ask them to put you in contact with one of the chaplains. Um, I wanna read a passage of scripture and then I'm gonna pray for you. It's from Philippians chapter four, starting with verse six, and Paul writes to the church at Philippi and he says this, don't worry about anything. Don't you wish it was that easy? Don't worry about anything, but he says instead, pray about everything. Tell God what you need and thank him for all he has done then you will experience God's peace. I want you to notice the connection there between thankfulness and peace. As we develop an attitude of gratitude and thankfulness, we will experience God's peace. Thank Him for all He has done, then you will experience God's peace, which exceeds anything we can understand. His peace will guard your hearts and minds as you live in Christ Jesus. I wanna pray for you now, and uh, just join me in this prayer prayer as I pray for you, as I pray for our community, city, and nation. Lord, we enter your gates with thanksgiving and your courts with praise. Even in these challenging times, God, you have been with us and uh, your provision has been evident and your faithfulness to your people, to your churches, to this nation, God, has been felt by us. And God, I wanna pray specifically right now for my fellow pastors here in the foothills, in our city, our nation, and around the globe, who all of us are facing challenging times as we are trying to lead our people in these uncertain time, a time when fractures, fault lines, and differences have been revealed in the pressures we have experienced. God, as we have noticed this racial unrest, the political polarization, the economic uncertainty, natural disasters, the East Coast with the storms and the West Coast with the fires and a global pandemic that has left over 100 million dead. God, I pray that as the gatekeepers, as the pastors, as the shepherds of our cities, the shepherds of our flocks, God, your flock, your people, I pray that we would lead with grace. I pray that we would be a light in the darkness, a voice of hope in the midst of despair, conveners of peace and help to the helpless. God, I pray that your presence would be with us. God, I pray for your safety and protection over our schools, over our homes, over our houses of worship, over our businesses, the YMCAs here in the foothills, this city and around the globe. God, we pray for those in authority over us. We pray for Mayor Garcetti, and we pray for Governor Newsom, President Trump, 
and our senators and, and uh, our congressmen, God. I want to pray, Lord, last for those listening right now to the sound of my voice, that they would be reminded today of all that they have to be thankful for, that they would think on those things which were excellent and that they would experience your peace, which transcends all understanding. I ask this in the name of Jesus, our Savior. Amen. God bless you, and may the Lord's presence be with you. The chaplain program is at the heart of the Y mission. It means something different to each individual, as this service is designed to meet you where you are. In the first book of Corinthians, Paul speaks about how we are called not to a life of separateness, but to meet people where they are and to share the good word. For some, it's a connection to their faith, or it's finding a safe harbor and someone who is there to listen and not to judge. For others, it's a place to find true friendship and advice as they plan the next steps of their life. To our greater community, it's an everyday reminder that the Y is here to serve, be outward facing, and to never turn away anyone who seeks to find comfort in the time of need. Nancy and Randy are two of people who sought our YMCA Chaplain Services program, and they're here to speak about it today. Hello, my name is Randy, and this is Nancy Hawker. And I can't believe we're back after a year. In fact, it's almost been a year to the date that we got married here at the YMCA. Brings back a lot of great memories, and uh, hey, it was an exciting time for us. Hi, my name is Nancy Hawker, and as Randy said, we got married here in the YMCA chapel um, last October. Um, the YMCA has been integral in our lives uh, because we're part of the community, we're members here, and uh, we were able to take advantage. The leadership here put us in contact with the chaplain, and she was able to meet with us, help us organize our wedding. Um, she met with us privately, did some premarital counseling with us, gave us some books to read together, took a lot of time to really make our ceremony very, very precious. and. It was just a very memorable experience to be here and to have our family and friends um, in this chapel. So we had a wonderful time. And we highly recommend that if you are interested in uh, using the chaplain services that you would reach out to the leadership of the YMCA because you won't be sorry. It was a wonderful experience for us. Yeah, and like Nancy said, you know, it brought it all together, really simplified the process. And again, it was very picturesque. You know, we've got a lot of great pictures from the YMCA and the chapel. So again, it took kind of a, a pressure situation, made it a lot easier and really just kind of calmed our feels and uh, they walked it through. We couldn't be more happy with it. Yeah, my gratitude to the Y is again, it just made it a very special time for us. Again, we brought our friends, you know, our family, you know, and again, just had a great place to meet. And again, I'd highly recommend it, you know, for a very personalized experience for you and your family. And for me, um, I feel much gratitude to the YMCA leadership, um, to the chaplain services, because they made our wedding a very smooth experience. Um, they provided a great place to get married, to prepare for our wedding. It just was a very smooth day. It offered um, just comfort and ease to the whole process. So it was a great experience. Amen. I have the honor as board chair this year, and actually looking back at my earlier elementary years, growing up here in the community, and navigating through the peaks and valleys of adolescent years into early adulthood, to express my gratitude to the YMCA of the Foothills for the positive impact that it's had during my journey and my family's today. I'm David Kim, and we hope you enjoy today's positive prayer and uplifting stories. We're excited to be able to gather today as a community in this way and to also share in this time together. On behalf of the entire board, the many subcommittees and families of the community, we wanna also thank and acknowledge our sponsors. It is because of our sponsors' gratitude and generosity that we were able to make today's video series possible. The YMCA of the Foothills is also proud to continue to be able to serve the community in this unique time and challenging circumstances in the areas of youth development, 
healthy living, and social responsibility. Know that we're here for you, and we are grateful for the stories that you share with us. We wish you and your families great health, happiness, and many blessings during this season of gratitude.